there's nothing that makes you seem more junior than an obsession with being senior. So just focus on creating great work and the rest will follow. Hi, I'm Stephanie Patrick, Executive Editor of Ad Week, and I am here in the Google headquarters for our CMO Move Summit in New York with Judy Lee, who is the Head of Global Experiences for Pinterest. Judy, thank you so much for being with us today. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. So I know you've been with Pinterest for a couple of years, but this role is new and it's one that you created. Can you tell me a bit about what you do? Sure. So um, I was really excited to go a bit deeper into experiential marketing. So I pitched for this role. Um, we had a relatively new CMO who's been around for a little over a year. And um, I'd been at Pinterest for a little over two and a half years. And I really wanted to go a bit deeper and work across all audiences. And for me, my passion is really around brand marketing. So this is a way to kind of get back to brand marketing and really focus on how I bring our brand to life. So what, what are you excited about your role and how is Pinterest thinking about experiential? So there's so many amazing things that are going on um, at Pinterest. And so recently we just announced this new Pinterest AR try-on. And for me, um, what it is is that it lets people virtually try on um, different lip colors. And um, the main difference between that and what's out there already is that we don't have any skin smoothing algorithms or filters. It's literally you unfiltered. This is a way for me to literally try on the, the lip color that I want. And it's a great way for brands to be a part of that because then you can go and buy exactly that lip color. I'm so glad that you, you're talking about innovation because one of my questions is, what innovation do you see coming down the pike that you think has the most potential to change the way you do business? Shopping is not a great experience anymore overall. I think whether it's you're doing online shopping or offline shopping, I think there's still a lot left to be desired. So when we kind of think about that golden, golden age of retail or shopping, it was kind of like when you walked down a main street and you saw the, the businesses that you know and the different products and shops that you loved, you had that kind of feeling of discovery, which no longer exists anymore, kind of in the world that we live in today. So what we're really focused on is how do we bring back that level of shopping that people had, um, where they can discover new products and see things with their eyes that they really love, um, versus kind of, you know, at that point where they already know what they want, you know, there's many services to supply that. Yeah. Um, what is something that keeps you up at night? Like, is there a problem that you are out there trying to solve? Technology has enabled so many wonderful things to happen in our lives. But I think there's also, you know, one of the kind of negative side effects of it is that people often feel overwhelmed, especially when we think about communication and um, a variety of tech platforms. And so one of the things that we noticed is that people come to Pinterest for positivity. And inspirational quotes is one of the, like our biggest searches that we have across the platform. We like to, we affectionately call our platform the last, last positive corner on the internet. And when we started seeing people searching for like depression or they're sad, we wanted to do more than just refer them to a 1-800 number. And so um, our teams collaborated with the Stanford uh, Center for Mental Health, and we developed this product called Compassionate Search. And so when people are searching for things that feel depressed or they're really sad, we now have this whole um, uh, surface within our product where it walks them through different well-being activities or ways to get them back to a positive place. So we're really excited about that. We piloted that here in the US, and now we've just rolled that out to nine additional markets. So final question for you, what is the best piece of advice that someone has given you or that you've given others that's really helped in your career? So one of the things I love to do is being a coach or a mentor or a manager. And so often I see people want to know, how am I going to get evaluated? Or they get obsessed with like, I want to get promoted faster. I need to make more money or I'm obsessed with my title. And the advice I gave them is that there's nothing that makes you seem more junior than an obsession with being senior. And so just focus on creating great work and the rest will follow. Like bring people together and deliver great work that delivers results and the rest will follow. I love that advice. It's something that um, our leaders and I talk about a lot is, is you know, this um, not being transactional in your job. You That's know, right. Not just like having your sight set on that prize, but mm -hmm. actually the work and That's then right. it tends to come, right? Yep. All right, well thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. And thank you for joining us for Top of Mind.